49 year old Jolene Waldruff died January 15th, less than an hour after that ambulance passed by her lying on the ground in sub zero temperatures. CBS 58's Adam Reif live in the newsroom to break down what we learned today. Adam. Well, both the Curtis Ambulance representatives and the Milwaukee Fire Department describe this incident as a terrible tragedy. They say Jolene Waldreff's body was hidden behind an electrical box, a garbage can, and piles of snow. The Curtis crew did not see her as they drove past, and they did not stop to look for her. The crew did the best they could by looking for the patient. But that Curtis Ambulance crew, which seemingly does not slow down just feet from Jolene Waldriff, did not find the woman who was pronounced dead from hypothermia less than an hour later. At a news conference Tuesday, Curtis Ambulance CEO James Baker defended his crew's response. Because they didn't do anything wrong. Um, the EMS system here worked as designed. 49-year-old Jolene Waldriff was waiting to catch a bus on the night of January 15th near 76th and Congress when she fell near the sidewalk. She called 911 at 5.23 p.m. A Curtis ambulance arrived four minutes later, first checking the two bus stops in the eastbound lanes, then... They went up a block, they did a U-turn, they came back and checked the bus stop on the northeast corner, and then proceeded through and checked the bus stop on the northwest corner. New surveillance video from that time shows a Curtis ambulance responding as Baker described. There was no patient found at any of the four state places. Our best guess is that the crew was unable to see anybody that was in that sidewalk or fence area. Curtis officials said protocol does not require crews to get out of their vehicles to look for patients. No, they did not get out of their vehicle to look. After driving through, dispatch tried calling Waldriff back twice, then cleared the ambulance to leave the area. You've looked as best as you can see. Eventually, passersby saw Waldriff and two people again called 911. This time, a Milwaukee fire crew responded and found Waldriff on the ground between two snowbanks and a trash can. You do the best you can. To a certain extent, um, you can't go do patient searches for 300 patients a day. Jolene Waldriff was pronounced dead a short time after she was found. Curtis Ambulance CEO James Baker said today he would feel the same way if his crews had not seen someone he knew. The two Curtis employees will not be disciplined. Here in the newsroom, Adam Rife, CBS 58 News.